Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It has been a long absence, but we are once again back and hopefully able to give you something to think on today, some potential wisdom that can help you in becoming the best version of yourself that you can be. And speaking of versions of yourself, that's what I'm going to be speaking about today. And I'm trying to dive into the concept of the past version of you and the future version of you and how and, and also the present version of you and how all these things tie together. So I'm going to start off with a question which I think will be quite relatable. So how many times have you not wanted to do something perhaps because it's a difficult thing to do or it's just not as fun as kind of this routine thing, not as fun as other things that you could be doing and rather than taking it upon yourself to do the hard thing, you offload it to this character that we'll call future you. And I think whether we consciously make note of this, whether we conceptualize it that way or not, I think almost all of us have done this in some capacity or another over the years. So uh, one that applies to me and I think a lot of other people, maybe you get a notification, you have a bill that needs paid, but it would be more fun to keep scrolling on Instagram and you don't want to take the time to open up your bank app, go through this whole process. So you offload it to you tomorrow and just like that, future you has an extra thing on their plate. Or maybe you want to start reading more and you just have all these other things to do, you know, work and school and stuff. You can't name the stuff, but it's there. And you say to yourself, oh, I'll get to it. I'll get to it later. Uh, I really will start. I'll do it soon. I'll do it this year. It's a New Year's resolutions kind of concept. And you push it off and you push it off because you can never really seem to find the time to read. Spoiler alert, you do have the time. It's not that hard to find. I'll help you find it. But uh, you say to yourself that you're gonna get it done and it never does get done. It's pushed off to the future you. And future you is gonna be, seems to be a pretty incredible person doing all these extra things that you're not doing today, right? What kind of person is that gonna be? And now here's a little secret. That is still you. So if these things get done at all, it's gonna get done by you, not you that exists today because you might have to improve a bit before you can take on all these projects that you've given yourself in the future. But you can, but that's gonna be you. And here's another twist. At this very moment, you are the embodiment of future self that you were loading everything on at this time last year. So everything that you said, oh, I'll get to someday, that's still sitting on you right now. You are that person where you should be. And have you done all the things that you told yourself you were gonna do? Have you ever become the magical person who accomplished all these things that, that you thought you would be in the future? And this introduces us to another character of past you. And think about this. What would past you think if they could see you as you are right now? Are they disappointed that you never followed through on all the things they expected that you were going to get done? Or did you exceed the expectations that you had five years ago and you're actually much better than you imagined in the past? I don't know. There's some of us in each camp and you can decide, you know for yourself which one you are. And there's this fascinating idea. It would do us all a lot of good to remember. You are not the only version of yourself that exists like you're not only the person that exists in this moment you are also the the versions of you from the future and the versions of you from the past and I, the word that i've heard used to describe this is a community of selves across time uh, so you are the you that exists right now and you're the you in two weeks and you're the uh, you in six months and you're you in two years and you're you that will be existing in 20 years and everything that you do right now at this present moment as this present version of yourself is affecting all of the others that will come in the future and it's related in some way to who you were in the past. So how do you keep this community of selves and the future selves from being disappointed in you and how do you keep the dreams of your past self from dying out? And the solution to this is uh, I believe found in this quote which I can't remember where I heard this so I can't properly credit the author but it was, it was a very good quote it says do today what you wish you had done yesterday so it seems simple enough today you regret the things that you didn't do before you're annoyed at the version of you yesterday who still hasn't straightened up your room even after telling yourself for two days straight i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and you wish you had started learning to play the guitar three years ago instead of last month because you would be a much better musician at this point and you you're Regretting the fact that you didn't pay enough attention when you're studying finances in school or that you didn't take it upon yourself to learn that when you were a teenager because now you have to catch up and learn how to pay bills and manage money 
and invest and all these things. And you wish you had started writing the book that you've always wanted to write at the beginning of this year, but it never got done. And what's the antidote to all these things? Come back to the quote, do today what you wish you had done yesterday. Because if today you do all these things that you regret not doing, number one, you won't regret anymore because it will be done. Number two, you will have done it and then you will thank yourself tomorrow for the fact that it's done. And tomorrow can be the kind of day that you wish you were having today. You can have a day of satisfaction thinking, oh, look at all these things that I've actually accomplished instead of sitting and regretting things that have never got done. You might say to yourself, if only I had started two years ago, think about how much further I would be today. And that's understandable, that's true, it's a good sentiment. And so many people express it, but they miss the inverse sentiment, which I think is more powerful, and it provides a solution to that, counteracts it. So, th and, and that is, if I start right now, think how different things will be in two years. So we can clearly see, it's very easy to look back and pick apart and look at all the little things that we could have done differently in the past and how they could have altered where we are today. But we have to realize that right here and right now, we have that same power over the future. That, that is the key to the whole thing. Start living right now, realizing that one day, the present moves into the past and the future becomes the present. And one day you will be looking back on yourself as you exist today and you'll be judging what you see and how you performed in this moment. And live in such a way that your future self is not going to hate what you're doing right now. Live so that you can be thankful for all the things that you did follow through on and all the projects that you did start and you did finish. So if you start writing your book now, one year from now, you'll, or a year or two from now, you'll be able to say that you're a novelist. And if you start learning a language today, in a matter of months, future version of you is going to be able to list their skills and they're going to have one additional language that they're proficient in. That they get to say, I started back then, so now I have an extra language. And with every action that you take right now, you're investing into that community of future versions of you. And you're, you're making them proud if you do the right things right now. And you're piling up regret for yourself later if you don't do the right things right now. So work toward being the kind of person that you want to be at this time next year. What does that person look like in their character and in their habits and just in the way they go about life? You need to maybe sit down and write it out who you want to be. And what things are they doing to live the best possible life? Figure that out and then do those things. Be that person in whatever small ways that you have to start out. Start moving toward that identity because as you do it, as you build better habits, as you take actions and invest into bettering yourself, you will become the person that you dream of being. And you're not going to get it right on the first try. Of course you're not. I'm not going to get it right on the first try. I'm still working at it. And maybe the progress won't show up right away, but that's the case with absolutely anything worth having or worth striving for. You have to stick with it for a while and it's going to be latent and you might not see results, but it's like planting seeds. You, you have to let it grow until it starts springing up through the ground and becomes visible, starts changing your life for the better and giving sustaining results. One final point. When you do what we referred to back in the intro, and you leave things for your future self to deal with, you're saying, one day I will do X. But when it's just one day and there's no goal, there's no clear direction, there's no point in time when it has to get done, it just gets pushed off forever and ever. One day moves further down the field, they keep kicking the can, and it, it moves off into the distant future, and maybe that thing never gets done. So instead of saying, one day I'm going to do such, such, insert your goal. Start saying, this is day one of this goal. You take the first steps today toward who you wish to be tomorrow, or in one month, or in 10 years. And if you start from here with this as day one, there is no telling, there's no predicting how great of a life you can make for your future self. So let's do it together. Don't let past you be disappointed. Don't squander the time of present you and make future you proud. Work on that, and I'll see you in the next video, God bless.